Number three, what is the index of refraction of a material for which the wavelength of light is 0 0.671 times its value in a vacuum? And then we got to identify it. All right, so we have this formula and we know that the wavelength um, of a particular light ray in a medium with a certain index of refraction will equal then the wavelength of that wave in a vacuum divided then by the index of refraction for that particular medium. So they're asking us, what is the index of refraction? That's what they're asking us, okay? So why don't we solve this for n? Just simply cross multiply. So in order to know this, I need to know the wavelength of the light in a vacuum, and I need to know the wavelength of the light in the particular medium, all right? Which we don't know what it is. That's what we're trying to find. Now, they didn't tell us anything like that, but they gave us a ratio here actually, right? What did they tell us? They said that the material for which the wavelength of light is 6.17 times its value in a vacuum. In other words, what they gave us is they gave us this. The wavelength in the material relative to the wavelength in a vacuum will be equal to 0.671. So they gave us a ratio. Now notice how this ratio compares to this. Right? Essentially, essentially, they're just reciprocals of one another. So if this is the value they gave us, all I need to simply do is just flip this thing around, right? And if I flip that around, then I will find this ratio. In other words, the index of refraction will be equal to 1 over now 0 0.671. So we can simply plug that on into the calculator, 1 divided by 0.671, and we get about 1.49. And then all we have to do is look this up on now an index of refraction table, and if you do, you'll find that it's polystyrene. And that's it. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.